Hey guys, here's the 75 gallon tank, or should I say reef? I got, uh, what's it called? A little zero nitrate problem right now going on. Um, I cut down my photo period, you know, because I do have Chato on the system. And I'm feeding about the same. Look at my tanks go at it. <laughs> but hopefully we get that under control. Um, yeah, here's the tank. Um, I think my peppermint shrimp is the cause of that right there. I caught him at night. He was uh, he wasn't eating, but he was right where all this is at, all this death is at. And yeah, that's why I got this guy right here. We got a little hawkfish. Let's see if he takes him out, cause he's a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, I got some acro growth growing here. My bonsai is taking over. If I give you guys a top view, like this right here, let me see, let me see, uh, right here, that's all bonsai. And it's actually branching out this way. Now this guy right here was basically a little, not even a nibble, it was just a speck because I broke it off. And look at it now, it's a whole colony. It's getting to a colony. Yeah, but getting some good growth. I want to see if I can cover that whole wall. And Zoas. Got some good stuff here. Raja, Space Invader, Mini Maxis, Rock Flower Nems, Tube Worm, and I got Groot, Holy Grail, Torches, there's Gold Torches, I think there's four torches there, and the Indo Torch in the middle. I got the Alivaporas. This whole section is Alivapora strictly. And then we have our Ghani section right here. Ghanipora, Ghanapora, 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 Ghanapora. So then we got some diversity here. Shrooms, Favias, Clams, baby baby plating corals right here. We got some Vino, some Crushed Montes. We, I think that one, it's, I forgot the name of that one, but some Eagle. And the middle one, I forgot the name of it. We got some Crazy Tea, some Beach Balm. And I think this guy right here, this, this guy is stinging the hell out of this guy at night. Because there's nothing else here that could sting. Except for those chalices, so I gotta move them before he kills them. And I got this guy is my indicator of low nitrates, so you gotta see where they're at right now. Um, let's see here, bubble tip anemone, another. This is a lime light magnifora. Magic carpet in the back here with some aptasia. <laughs> got a nice little green uh, shelfing Monty here. Look at that. Nutrients are down, guys. But at least I'm keeping them within, like, detectable, you know, when I test. But they're lower, right now they're lower than one for sure. I got a bubble coral. Got some SPS here. That big yellow one is a glow stick. Uh, this guy right here is a Voodoo from Top Shelf Aquatics. I got a few designer pieces in here. This guy right here is my best friend. Man. He follows me everywhere.
Got some hidden stuff back there, some bounces back there. Let me move this guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there you go. So far, so good. For lighting, I'm running some T5, some Aqua Blue Specials, one actually, and a Blue Plus ATI. I'm running four XR30 Gen 4s. Um, for power heads and return pumps, some Ecotech. I got five because I get a lot of detritus in the back, so I use this guy in the back to blow it out. I got two, I got two, two MP40s, two MP, three MP10s. And for filtration, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. We got Nile Skimmer, and we got some Chato. <laughs> and that's about it guys.